Hey, this is Aflevar from TheKinRef.com and it's time for another viewer request and we're gonna have a lot of fun in this video because in this video I'm gonna teach you a fingerstyle arrangement I've made especially for you guys and girls of Brahms Hungarian Dance Number no. 5. Now, um, even if you don't know the name of this tune, I'm pretty sure that you know it by ear because it's a very famous tune and um, it's pretty much in the cultural DNA by now. So, um, first I'm gonna play uh, my arrangement so you can hear how it goes. I'm gonna play it for you and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick with tabs on the screen and everything. I'm gonna show you exactly how to play this. This is not uh, too difficult. It's uh, a lot of open string work. Um, it's got E minor, A minor, and B7. Uh, that's the only three chords in this uh, piece. So let me play it and then we'll jump right into the lesson. So it goes like this. So let's jump into the lesson. Uh, it's in E minor, as I said before, and it's only got three chords. E minor, uh, in various different uh, voicings, mainly open strings with three or seven on the uh, E string. A minor, either here or here. And B7, uh, which is pretty much just B7. So. Let's begin. You begin with E minor and the melody is just the bass note, the E bass, and the open B string. Okay? And you can harmonize with the G string as well. And then open E string. And then E minor again, this time with the high G note on 3 on the E string. So it's just E minor all the way. And then open E string again, and then um, two on the A bass, which is the B bass, with four on the B string. Okay, just a B major triad. So, and then hammer on from zero to two on the E string, and then E minor again. Then A minor, okay, uh, without the E string, just up to the B string. Then slide from 3 to 5 on the B string using your pinky. And then E minor again. And then open G string. And now you position your fingers like this first finger on the B bass, on 2 on the A string, and on the G string, 2nd fret with your 2nd finger because you need to pull it off. You pull the 2nd finger off, so it's two and, zero, 2 and 0 on the G string. Then with your pinky, 4 on the D string, okay, this is the lick. which is the E bass 
and two on the D string, okay? Which is again, E minor. So this is the first line, E minor. B for a second, hammer on, E minor again. A minor, slide, E minor, open G string, B7, pull off, open B string, E minor. Just the E octave there. So, uh, the second line begins with E minor again. This time the melody line is, the melody note is the high E string. So you can just harmonize with the entire E minor harmony. Just open E, B, and G strings with the E bass. And then three on the E string. And then E minor with a high B note, which is E minor, open strings with the seven, the seventh fret on the E string. So then three again on the E string and then B7. And the melody note is the F sharp note. It's two on the E string. And you can either play this or you can play the entire chord or you can just play even uh, you can play even an entire chord uh, with this note on, on it. And then slide with your pinky from three to five on the E string this time. And then um, E minor again with the G note again, three on the E string. Okay, and now comes uh, the part that I'm sure most of you have been waiting for, the tapping part. Okay, um, you play the A bass with five on the G string with your first finger and you hammer on seven on the G string and then you tap nine on the G string you take the, set, the third finger off and leave the first finger on and you pull off to it. Okay, so it's five, seven, nine, five. Five, seven, nine, five. Got it? When you tap the nine, you take the seven off. Okay, that's the, that's the sequence of the events. Five, seven, nine, off, five. Okay? And then you slide back to four and you do the same thing with four, five, seven, and four. Okay? It's the same movement. Slide back to four and then five, seven, you hammer on five, tap the seven, take the five off, pull off to four. So it's four, five, seven, four. And then the same thing, you slide back to two and you do the same thing with two, four, and five. Two, okay? And you're done with the tapping part. Next is a uh, pull off. So um, four to two, four, tap the five, take the four off, pull off to two. So. Okay? This is a nice tapping exercise. It's not that difficult, uh, that difficult once you get it, um, once you get the, the, whole, um, the whole sequence down. Okay, just practice this. Okay, and then incorporate the, the slides. And then when you're at the final um, A note, this is an A note, you just pull it off and then you hammer on two and four and you pull off to zero, okay? So it's... Um, okay? It's this. 
So it's okay. You're at two. You pulled off you from the tap to two. So zero, two, four, zero. Okay. When you hammer on the four, you take the two off and you pull off. So. Um, Okay, this is it. So, this is the entire line. Slowly. And then, the same ending line as before with two and two, pull off to zero on the G string, four with your pinky. Okay, remember this? Then open E open B string and then E octave with two on the D string and the E bass. So together it sounds like this. Ah. Okay, and it's not supposed to go um you you it's supposed to go at speed, but you don't have to, you can uh, you can embellish it, you can play it um soulfully, let's say. Uh, so it's... You don't have to go full speed, okay? Um, you can play the notes. You don't have to just play speed all the time. Okay, you don't have to do it like this. This... got a little carried away with all the um, hammer-ons and pull-offs there uh, but it's fine okay if, if you want you, you can um, if you want to go crazy you can go crazy with this line uh, with the tapping and the slides and such but this is um, the how the basic melody goes so again the entire A part You play the E minor with a high B note again, and you repeat the B note, and then 8 on the E string with B on the bass. You can use your thumb. Okay, so it's... and 7 again. Uh, why? Because this is just E minor changing bass notes. Okay? it interesting so and then you bar the fifth fret on the E B and G strings uh, with the A bass and this is A minor and you do this okay just bass chord first the bass then the chord and then this little lick okay it's four five seven five four seven five all hammered on and pulled off so it's hammer on hammer on pull off pull off hammer on to seven pull off to five it's four up to five up to seven down to five down to four hammer on with your pinky back to seven pull off back to five okay um, this is actually a lot easier than it looks because it's not a complicated sequence of fingers. It's just up, down, back up, down. Okay? Um, I know it looks like showing off, but it's uh, a really smooth finger movement. Okay, so with a little practice, you'll be playing this in full speed in no time. Okay? So again. Okay, um, and then A minor again, five again, seven, 
5 with pinky and you take pinky off. And then E minor with a high G on 3. And then the same uh, lick only at 2, 3, and 5. Okay? And then B7, 2 again, 5, you can slide up to 5. And then 3, 2, 0, and you play E minor along with 2. Okay? 3, 2, 0. And then the same lick at 4, 5, and 7, only this time it's on the B string. And then B7, and you don't have to use your pinky because we're not picking the E string this time. We pick uh, the B, G, D, and A strings twice. And then we add the pinky on two on the B string. And we slide it up to four. Okay? So it's zero, zero, two, four on the B string. And then E minor, first the bass note, and then the rest of the chord. And then the same lick as before on 4, 5, and 7 on the B string. Okay, so together it all sounds like this. around you play it faster okay um, this okay uh, this um, pushes the speed upwards okay uh, the first time you play it it's soulful it's melodic it's very sad the second time it's very happy it's a Hungarian dance remember uh, so the second time it speeds up um, so um, we're done. There's nothing more for me to teach here. So uh, before you go, I haven't noticed that we're done. Uh, before you go, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, I've got a ton of lessons on the channel already. It's all free and um, I upload a new lesson every couple of days or so, so you don't have anything to lose by clicking subscribe. Um, you have everything to gain by it because you'll be immediately updated at the moment I upload a new lesson. Go to the website, the link is in the description, go to the website, download the tab, the tab is there for free, again, as always, um, to download for your own personal use. And uh, while you're there, if you wanna give something back, there's a donation button and uh, all donations go back to producing the lessons. So uh, I'll be grateful for any donation you choose to make and I thank you in advance for it. Thank you very much for watching, go get this under your fingers, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.